Hello and welcome back to Dragon Quest Wall Tutorials, I am Kui TGZ and in this video I want to do a weapon breakdown of the Demon Axe, so going to be the new weapon from the Veteran Warrior Banner. So pretty much after almost two weeks of mileage point grinding, uh, I was actually able to acquire uh, the Demon Axe. So this is actually going to be one of the two weapons available in from the uh, Veteran Warrior's Banner, the other one being the Zombie Killer. So uh, since I actually do have both the axe and the shield uh, from the Veteran Warrior Banner, I want to go over both the Demon Axe and also the Shield of Strength in this video. So first, I want to go over the Demon Axe. So going over right here, so you're going to see that the... Um, Pretty much its attack power is going to be uh, one plus 174, so that's actually pretty high. Then over here for its level uh, basic stat increases, it's going to have plus 5 attack power if this is going to be equipped on a Paladin. Uh, going to have at also at level 1, going to have uh, plus 5% to God Guard activation rate. Then down over here at level 35, you're going to have plus 5 damage to birds. Your level 40, we're going to actually have a plus 2% to critical hit rate. And then level 45, we're going to have plus 12 to attack power if you have expertise with this weapon. Then besides that, over here, we're going to have the Shield of Power. So uh, actually going back a little bit. So with the Shield of Power, you're going to have plus 59 to your defense and plus 3% to your guard rate. Then in terms of the actual basic stats that you get, at level 8, you're going to get plus 10 to your max MP. At level 12, you're going to get a plus 3% to... Uh, weapon and physical technique skill damage at level 15 you're going to get uh, HP recovery skill plus three percent HP recovery skill and special skill effectiveness uh, pretty much just to this particular character then at level 20 you're going to get plus 10 to your attack power level 23 plus 10 to your healing power and level 25 plus one percent to your guard rate so that's going to be uh, those two pieces of equipment there so i do now want to actually go over them in this video so here going to start off with a basic battle now that i am at my guardian i want to first go over the two uh sudden activation abilities uh the first one is going to be called Dekisen no haki ono which is going to be veterans ambition axe this is going to cost 18 mp and when you get a critical hit with unyielding frozen axe resistances are ignored and spell power of the enemy is lowered Plus, counterattack damage is increased to 30 times to, uh, from uh, 20 times. So I will go over uh, that ability uh, a little later in this video. Besides that, you're also going to see uh, this target mark. So this is something we have seen before. This is going to be Hichu no Gokui, which is extreme focus. This is going to cost uh, 8 MP. And at the start of the battle, the wielder's weapon and physical technique attacks cannot be guarded nor evaded. This is going to last four turns. So now what I want to do is actually go over abilities and the first one I actually want to go over is going to be from the actual shield. So that's going to be right over here. This is going to be called over energy. So over energy here is going to cost 35 per uh, 35 uh, MP and what it does uh, over energy the wielder is bestowed energy flow which increases wielder's max HP and MP limit by 20% and HP recovery taken by the wielder is more effective. So pretty much this is going to be very similar to uh, the ability that we have seen from uh, the Dragon Queen's uh, claws. So pretty much going to go ahead and use it here. Okay, so with the next ability that I want to go over, this is going to be again on the, this is going to be on the axe. So with this, it's going to be right over here. This is going to be Kain Hanai Giri, which is going to be Flame Slash. So what this does, it costs 41 MP and does 360% meta weapon damage to all enemies with a rare chance to lower their defense is going to be like this.
Okay, so here uh, you can see on the enemy on the right, so the paralyzing um, saber. Um, this is going to actually did lower uh, the defenses of that particular enemy. So um, yes, yeah, so that's going to be that ability there. But I want to go over the next ability. So here going to be uh, the next ability for the weapon. So it's going to be a buff, which is going to be this one right here. This is going to be called uh, Toshi Chunyu, which is going to be called Fighting Spirit Infusion. This is going to ha cost 20% of uh, the wielder's max MP. And what it does, mm -hmm. it gives all allies strength of protection in which they recover 50% of their HP after taking damage from an enemy that lowers their HP below 30%. This can only be used mm -hmm. once during mm -hmm. battle. So now everyone has that buff. Okay, so now time for the final ability. This is going to be found right over here. So this is going to be Fukutsu no uh, Kori Ono, which is going to be Unyielding Frozen Axe. This is going to cost 51 MP, and what it does, it does 730% cattle weapon damage to one enemy while lowering its spell power. And when the wielder takes damage due to a class trait, in this case, um, going to be uh, either for the guardian going to be great wall and then for the god hand is going to be god guard uh, they counter attack with damage equivalent to 20 times the damage received if the wielder takes a critical hit then they counter with a super critical hit but um since i do have the actual veterans ambition on this is going to uh do uh 30 per uh, times the damage if I counter attack. So I'm going to go ahead and attack this enemy over here. So with that, that's pretty much going to be everything uh, for that uh, particular uh, weapon. But something that I want to do after this battle is actually try this out in an actual real battle. So um, in this case, I actually want to try this out against Lamia herself. So here next going to go ahead into a battle with Lamia. Okay, so here we go with this battle against Lamia. So some things I did change around. I actually did change the team to be a Hado based team. So I actually have switched the characters around here. So here, uh, since this is the battle, first battle of the day, I'm actually going to be going to have the actual perk. But um, that's actually going to be okay. I actually want to show the abilities of the true abilities of this weapon. So here what I want to do is use... Uh, Fighting Spirit Infusion, so uh, when I take damage, uh, that's going to go, or when my characters take damage, that's going to be 30% or less, that's going to actually heal them up. So here, going to go ahead, actually go ahead and heal this character. And here, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll Encore my God Hand. And I'll give them Stemmy. Okay, so my characters did not go under 30%, but I should still be okay. So here we're going to go ahead and attack. And here again, what I'll do is I'll actually go ahead and attack here. And in this case, I was able to lower Lamia's spell power. So here what I'll do, I'll do Encore again, and go ahead and attack again. And again, I was able to lower Talamia's spell power, so pretty much the effects of Yonazun are going to be actually quite low. So in this case, going to use Barrier, that's fine. Okay, and there you saw the effects, that effect there. So I actually did recover 50% of the health there with my ninja. So 
So here again. Here I'll go ahead and heal up my characters. So here what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll revive that character. Okay. Okay, so that was actually a battle with a real uh, formidable opponent with Lamia. So with that, um, you actually were able to see uh, some of the effects of the abilities of this weapon. Uh, one was going to be uh, Fighting Spirit Infusion. So um, I actually did have my ninja recover 50% of their in P, uh, HP when their HP dropped below 30%. So that actually was uh, quite uh, effective. Then also with Unyielding Frozen Axe, I was actually able to lower the spell power of Lamia pretty much uh, to rank 2. So that actually really did help out. Um, well, you didn't actually see uh, her use uh, any of her spells in this particular uh, battle, but uh, definitely uh, the... Uh, damage that I would have gotten from Iona Zune would have been quite low. So definitely probably would be under definitely under 100 I would say. So uh yeah, so that's going to be uh the new weapon so the demon axe here. So uh I wasn't able to get any god guard so I didn't show uh wasn't able to show um what it looks like when I actually counter attack but definitely I'll be doing uh, future battles with this weapon so uh, please stay tuned with, for that but uh, with that said I'm going to go ahead and end this video here so uh, definitely on the 25th we're going to have uh, some new content coming up so I will be going over uh, the, that content and most likely we'll have a new banner as well so please stay tuned but with that said going to end this video here so thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you would like to see more, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.